Hi, I'm Dave Troll at the Troll Gallery, and I'm here to give you some tips on how to work with the router safely. Routers are pretty safe tools to begin with, but there are some certain things you want to keep in mind when working with them. First off, whenever you're changing bits, unplug your router. Second, they have two handles, use them when you're working. Always have a good grip on your router. Third is know where the cutter is in relationship to the wood. You don't want to have your cutter exposed against the wood, then you turn it on, the router's going to jump, and that's going to be bad. Another thing you want to keep in mind is after you've made your cut, pull the router away. If it's a plunge router, you can bring the bit up into the belly of the router, shut off the motor, wait till the router stops, then you can set it down and let it go. Obviously, this is the danger area of the router. It's a spinning tool, so you want to make sure you keep all loose clothing away from the spinning bit. This router also has uh, a dust port built in, and you want to make sure that when you're using that, you either have uh, a shop back attached to it, have the cap on, or have it pointed away from you because you don't want that dust blowing in your face. And speaking of things blowing in your face, first thing you want to make sure is you always want to use your safety glasses. This creates a lot of dust and chips, and you want to keep your eyes safe. You also want to make sure you use your hearing protection. Uh, routers are a very loud tool, and even if you don't think it's loud, hearing damage is a cumulative effect. So the more you wear your hearing protection, the safer you're going to be in the long run. Okay, so those are some tips on how to operate a router safely. I'm Dave Troll with the Troll Gallery, the fine art of furniture making.